Yeah, when you work for a living, some things around the home place will get away from you, and that's what's happened here. We've got, uh, I just retired, and as I start doing uh, extra things around the farm, I realize I've got trees coming up all over the dam on the pond. And uh, I'm going to start down here on this other end. There's a, on it's about five acre little lake. And right here on this end, over by the spillway, we've got, got a couple birches, got a red maple, more birch. One of those birches is leaning out to the point where I know it's going to go in the pond and I'll have to fish it out. And golly, how, how'd that ever get there? Got a big post oak right on the edge of the spillway. Golly, that thing's a saw log. Sure don't need that. And it's right in the way. And uh, need to get all these off. I don't want them on the dam. They're going to uh, get roots out into the keyway and mess it up. So those have all got to go. And when we, after we cut them down, then we'll treat the stumps. But uh, <laughs> it's kind of an emergency to get them out. I'll show you why if I can get out far enough. We had a big pin oak fall in the pond recently. I mean, I'm going to have to move to get that. Here's the big pin oak. Gosh, this thing's a monster. And it, uh, it fell in one stormy night. We've been watching it move for years. It's back away from the dam. But muskrats got under one side of it and it started to tip. It took several years. But it's in and uh, to get it out, uh, we're, we need to be able to roll it around. We need to bring it out in an arc. It, we, it's too big to pull straight out. So we've got a guy with a cat coming He's going to see if he can swing it around in an arc and kind of roll it out. But all those trees down here are in the way, so I've got some tree cutting to do. But uh, this, will be a, this will be a video of its own getting this out. I hope it goes well. It is a monster, and what you're looking at is just one portion of the crown. Most of the crown is down there in the bottom of the pond. It's a huge old tree. Anyway, I'm going to move back over to the other place here. Okay, we're back over here where we're going to start cutting. Golly, i got a birch out there in the water. I can't even reach him. But uh, anyway, I'll cut those first, those first two little birches, and then I'm going to cut that red maple. And I'm just going to leave the camera off while I'm doing those little birches. They're nothing special. Those will be quick, easy ones. I think I can flip those right down on the ground, no trouble. And then we'll make our proper cuts and we'll put some wedge, put a wedge in on that maple so I can lay it out here on the dam. So, so anyway, we'll be back after those birches are out of the way. Okay, we got uh, the birch trash out of the way. Got kind of a pile of stuff over here. The worst part of the whole thing there was there's uh, several all the flora stems that had grown up in that. I spent more time wrestling with that than I did cutting the trees. Anyway, I'm gonna move this up close and I'm gonna cut a front face that heads it to your hard right and uh, I'll do a punch cut and then I'm gonna try to cut out the other side and get the wedges in there because it's easier to finish up cutting the last of it on this side where I don't have to worry about falling in the water. So I'm going to bring this down and uh, get a little closer with this and where you can see the cuts. And then we'll, we'll fire up and, and start cutting. Okay, ready to cut. So anyway, we'll do the, uh, do the face cut over here, make it go this way, do a punch cut. And then I want to cut out the, uh, the offside over here, put a wedge in it, then we'll cut out over here, and then uh, pound our wedge in. That's, that is the plan.
Okay, well we had just a little interruption there, and uh, anyway, I've got the the off side of the back cut, and we've got our front cut there. In fact, I'm going to move this around and get some. There, you can see that just a little bit better. And uh, all we need to finish cutting now, anyway, uh, punch that, came around, cut that over there. Now we just need to cut this out, stand it on the hinge and uh, part of the back strap. And we'll finish cutting that and then take it over with the, with the wedges. Don't you love it when it all goes right? <laughs> Let's get that wedge out of the edge of the pond there. There we go. And let's do a little after action review on the stump. Turn this up. what I'm doing there we go okay okay you can see on here made the front cut over here you know, over here out in front and we punched through angled back away from the hinge you can see the hinge yeah, you can just see this end of the hinge. The hinge was right here. Angled away from the hinge because as I'm cutting with the top of the bar over here, that saw is wanting to go that way. So I like to angle away. It gives me just a little insurance. Got over here, dogged in, swung it. You can see the marks here where we swung and brought the, the hinge up to the right thickness. Then I stepped around here, cleaned this out, put a wedge in, cut this, and the tree went over actually by itself. It was had just a little bit of forward weight. So that was a pretty good drop. I'm gonna stand this up where you can see a little better. The, and there's our tree all on the ground not in the pond all on the ground that's good that's what we wanted now we just got a cleanup job to do and uh, thank you for visiting it's nice when it all comes together